Are you serious? Are you serious? What is going on in Egypt, folks? And let me just say, it's horrific what's taking place. Uh, Egypt, is, Egypt is literally, the perverse spirit has taken over in Egypt. It's in the Bible, actually, in the book of Isaiah, if you go to the 19th chapter of Isaiah. The Lord has mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof, and they have caused Egypt to err in every work thereof as a drunken man staggereth in his own vomit. And if you read the 19th chapter of Isaiah, you'll see that the entire nation of Egypt and what's taken place since the Arab Spring, the uprising and the overthrow of Jose Mubarak and the uh, brother against brother, neighbor against neighbor, um, City against city, I mean, you know, all the all the fighting, the infighting, the overthrowing of Mubarak, the new fierce king, cruel lord, Muhammad Mercy, who took over, his, his, his the fact the governing council was destroyed, the constitution, all those things, the drought that's hit Egypt, the dam that's being built in Ethiopia that's going to turn the Nile River away from Egypt, which is in Isaiah 19, 6, and they shall turn the rivers far away. The falling of the economy to today, the 14th verse. This is Isaiah 19, 14. The Lord hath mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof, and they have caused Egypt to err in every work thereof, as a drunken man staggereth in his own vomit. Listen to what the headlines are. The death toll is now 525. Now, I reported yesterday they had found 40 bodies piled up in a morgue. And that was what the uh, Egyptian army was reporting was dead. Yet the Muslim Brotherhood says, no, 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 the death toll is about 800 right now. Well, since, and so I did the report from between 40 and 800 are dead. Well, today's numbers officially are 525. We know that number's rising. And so it looks as if the Muslim Brotherhood, who reported 800 were dead yesterday, had a better, clear understanding of what happened. And... Uh, Egypt, get a cup of coffee because this is a significant report. Egypt, in the perverse spirit. Egyptian authorities on Thursday significantly raised the death toll from clashes the previous day between police and the supporters of the ousted Islamic president from the Muslim Brotherhood, Mohammed Mercy, saying that now more than 500 people have died, laying bare the extent of the violence that swept much of the country and prompted the government to declare a nationwide state of emergency and a nighttime curfew. So now Egypt is under martial law. The death toll, which stood at 525, according to the latest health ministry figures, makes Wednesday by far the deadliest day since the 2011 popular uprising that toppled longtime ruler and autocrat leader President Jose Mubarak. A grim milestone that does not bode well for the future of a nation uh, roiled in turmoil and divisions for the past two and a half years. Health Ministry spokesman Khalid El Karaba. Uh, put the number of the injured yesterday at 3,717 injured uh, near the site of one of the smashed encampments of ousted President Mohammed Mercy supporters in the eastern Nassar City District. Associated Press reporter Thursday saw dozens of, bo of blood soaked bodies stored inside a mosque. The bodies were wrapped in sheets and still unclaimed by families. Relatives at the scene were uncovering the faces in an attempt to identify their loved ones. Many complained that authorities were preventing them from obtaining permits to bury their dead. Uh, Al Khadib said that 202 of the 525 that were killed in Nasser City protest camp 
but it was not immediately clear whether the bodies at the mosque were included in the figure of 525. Uh, there's, there's total breakdown and confusion there, folks. A total, it's like a drunk man falling into his own vomit. This is the situation. This is the absolute um, condition of the nation of Egypt. It's just like the scripture said. The Lord has mingled a perverse spirit. This Muslim brotherhood spirit that overthrew Tunisia, Egypt, Libya, Yemen, and is in the process of destroying Syria. Backed by the Obama administration, this Muslim brotherhood perverse spirit has taken a nation, Egypt, that had a 32-year leader in Jose Mubarak, that had a wonderful tourist um, in the industry, had peace with Israel for 30 years, had built a, a pretty sizable, strong uh, military with the backing of American dollars. Why did the Obama administration help, encourage, command the overthrow of Mubarak to only wind up with a Muslim Brotherhood-controlled nation, stripping that country of its constitution, Im implementing Sharia law, and causing a collapse in the economy, and then throw in God's drought that he tossed on top of it. And you have an absolute recipe for a disaster. So after one year, 14 million Egyptians came to the streets protesting Mohammed Mercy. He was removed on July the 3rd by the, by the Egyptian army's general El Sisi. Uh, there's been relative calm, but yesterday the Egyptian government decided this is enough. The sit-in, these camps, these mercy uh, supporters are sitting here and, 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 can't, and protesting. It's over. They've got to go. And the military decided to use an iron fist to drive them out. It has created an absolute chaos now in the land of Egypt as both sides have lost sight of the goal of a, of a nation of people living together in peace. And I'm going to tell you right now, the Christians are the vulnerable group. The Coptic Christians will be the lambs led to the slaughter during this next year as they will take the brunt of the anger from both sides, the secular Egyptians who were supporting mercy, uh, who were wanting mercy out and the Muslim Brotherhood Egyptians who were supporting mercy. They will both sacrifice and the bloodshed will be upon the Coptic Christians. You'll see that going on. So I want you to pray. Now also, I have a special prayer request for Richard Engel. Now, he's an NBC reporter who was actually, he goes into these war zones and does a great job reporting, actually. He was in Syria when he was captured by the Muslim Brotherhood and was held captive for about two weeks. And they would, every day, they would take him uh, handcuffed and hogtied and set him up and take a sword by his neck and, and practice that they were going to behead him and his other four or five uh, uh, journalists with him and this went on and on and on finally he was able to escape he was rescued and was able to get out of there uh, he's in Egypt right now and I just saw a report this morning uh, on MSNBC News I saw him right in the middle of the shooting bullets flying dead people laying around him a guy bleeding he was just shot stones being thrown at him he was right in the middle of this thing and, and, and so could you just pray for him? Because I know he's he really wants to report what's going on. He's a very fair reporter, and he knows that the, this is a very volatile situation. He's an American, and I'm thinking, he's got to get out of there. But he, does, he, he, he wants to tell the truth so bad, he's willing to put his life on the line. I'm just, the Lord just told me, pray for this man. You better pray for this man. Put a blood covering around him, because he's in a very, very dangerous situation. His name is Richard Engel. He's a reporter for NBC News. It doesn't matter which news network he works for. He's just another. He's just a man that God said. And not only pray for him, but pray for the, all of the Egyptian people, whether they're for the Muslim Brotherhood or against it. 
or they're Coptic Christians, doesn't matter. Pray for all of them, or there's even a few Jews in Egypt. Pray for all of them, because this thing is getting dark, dark, and ugly. I'm Pastor Paul Bagley. Don't miss my show today. I'm on from 12 noon to 3 p.m. Eastern. It's going to be a powerful show. It's at my website, www.paulbagleyprophecy.com. And the second hour, it starts at 12 noon till 3 p.m. At 1 o'clock, the full second hour, my guest will be Bible prophecy expert Daryl Myatt from YouTube. He's out of Dallas, Texas, and he will be my guest. It's getting dark. It's getting really dark in Egypt.